between, you know, East Coast and West Coast hip hop in this particular West Coast artist. It's the way he rhymes, you know what I'm saying? What, how he says his words, his pronunciations and enunciations, you know, it's all of that. You can hear it in there, you know what I'm saying? Once a highly influential West Coast rapper in the 1990s, Corrupt experienced a tragic downfall that marked the end of his music career. As a founding member of Thaw Dog Pound and a prominent artist under Dr. Dre's Death Row Records, Corrupt rose to fame with his rapid flow and gangsta rap lyrics, becoming an icon of the West Coast rap scene. However, personal struggles, including drug abuse and poor decisions, took a toll on his career and alienated his fans. This is the tragic fate of Corrupt and his desperate attempts to regain fame downfall due to drug abuse and poor decisions. In the early 2000s, Kurup's life took a dark turn as he fell into the grips of addiction. It started innocently enough, with alcohol and marijuana becoming his vices of choice. However, what began as recreational use soon spiraled out of control, leading Kurup down a path of self-destruction. Tracks like Behind the Walls and Can't Let That Slide showcased Kurup's raw and honest lyrics, giving listeners a glimpse into his pain and challenges behind the scenes. While Kurup was in the spotlight, his personal life began to unravel due to a series of ill-advised decisions. The first major misstep came in the early 2000s when Kurup made a choice that would forever change the dynamics of his relationships. At the height of his fame, Kurup was surrounded by a close-knit circle of friends and loved ones who had supported him throughout his journey. However, blinded by his newfound success and the allure of the fast life, Kurup succumbed to temptation. It was during this time that Kurup became entangled in a web of infidelity, betraying the trust of his longtime partner and mother of his children. Rumor of his indiscretions began to circulate, tarnishing his reputation and causing a rift between him and his loved ones. As the truth came to light, Corrupt's friends and family were devastated and heartbroken. Their once unbreakable bond was shattered, and Corrupt found himself isolated and estranged from those who had stood by him in the past. Many friends tried to advise him, but at the time, Corrupt disregarded them all and took solace in drugs. The fallout from this betrayal not only affected Corrupt's personal life, but also had a profound impact on his career. The music industry, fueled by scandal, and controversy turned its back on him, leaving him struggling to regain the trust and support of his fans. As Karup's personal life crumbled, he sought solace in the dark embrace of substance abuse. The pressures of fame and the weight of his past mistakes took a toll on his mental and emotional well-being, leading him down a dangerous path. Karup's involvement with drugs became an open secret within the industry, and his addiction began to consume him. The once vibrant and energetic rapper was now a mere shadow of his former self, battling inner demons that threatened to destroy him. His substance abuse Use not only affected his physical health, but also strained his relationships with his friends and loved ones. The people who had once stood by his side now watched helplessly as Kurup spiraled further into addiction. His erratic behavior and unpredictable mood swings pushed away those who cared about him the most. Friends distanced themselves, fearing the destructive influence Kurup's addiction had on their own lives. Loved ones pleaded with him to seek help, but their pleas were brushed aside. As Kurup's career began to suffer, so did his finances. The once lucrative endorsement deals and record sales dwindled, leaving him in financial financial ruin. Desperate to fuel his addiction, Corrupt turned to questionable sources of income, further alienating himself from his former support system. Corrupt found himself entangled in a series of legal issues, ranging from drug possession to assault charges. The headlines screamed of his misdeeds, further tarnishing his already damaged reputation. Courtrooms became a familiar setting for the rapper as he faced the consequences of his reckless decisions. The legal battles drained Corrupt's finances and consumed his time and energy. Instead of focusing on his music and rebuilding his life, he was forced to navigate the complex world of the justice system. The constant presence of lawyers and court appearances became a stark reminder of the consequences of his worst decisions. As the legal troubles mounted, Kurup's career suffered a devastating blow. Record labels and industry executives grew wary of associating themselves with an artist embroiled in controversy. Once filled with promise and potential, his life had crumbled under the weight of his choices. Kurup's relationships were irreparably damaged. The betrayal of his loved ones and the estrangement from his friends left a void that could never be filled. The trust that had been shattered could not be rebuilt, and the once close bonds were forever severed. Once a shining star in the music industry, his career had been reduced to ashes. As his addiction worsened, Kurup found himself in trouble with the law. He was arrested multiple times for drug possession and driving under the influence. These legal issues tarnished his reputation and hindered his ability to focus on his music career. His behavior became erratic, and his music suffered immensely. Concert cancellations became a norm, and his once loyal fan base dwindled. 
Recognizing the severity of his addiction, Corrupt decided to seek help. He entered rehab not once, not twice, but three times in an attempt to get clean and turn his life around. However, despite his best efforts, he struggled to stay sober. The allure of drugs and alcohol proved to be too strong, and Corrupt found himself trapped in a vicious cycle of addiction. As Corrupt's personal life crumbled under the weight of his addiction, so too did his music career. The once exceptional quality of his music began to decline sharply in the mid-2000s. Fans who had once been captivated by his rapid flow and powerful lyrics were now disappointed by the lackluster offerings. One of the main reasons for this decline was Corrupt's inability to maintain coherence in his music. His disjointed flows and nonsensical lyrics left fans scratching their heads, wondering what had happened to the artist they had once admired. The once powerful voice that had resonated with listeners now seemed lost in a sea of confusion. Another factor that contributed to Corrupt's downfall was his failure to evolve his sound for the new era. While his 90s gangster rap style had been groundbreaking and influential, the rap landscape was changing and artists were expected to adapt. Unfortunately, Kurup seemed stuck in the past, clinging to a sound no longer resonating with audiences. Kurup's poor decisions further exacerbated his downward spiral. He surrounded himself with toxic individuals who only fueled his addiction rather than helping him escape from it. Gone were the days when he was seen as an icon of resilience and strength. Now, he was perceived as a lost soul wandering in a world of his own making. The consequences of Corrupt's drug abuse started to manifest in his personal life as well. He became estranged from loved ones, pushing away those who had cared for him through thick and thin. Relationships crumbled and his support system began to disintegrate. It was evident that his drug abuse was breaking him down piece by piece, both mentally and physically. In recent years, a glimmer of hope emerged as Corrupt sought help to battle his demons. He publicly acknowledged his addiction and checked into rehab yet again, recognizing that his life was spiraling out of control. His commitment to recovery was commendable and fans cautiously awaited his return to the music scene. Despite his efforts, Kurup's journey to redemption has been met with mixed results. Some fans are hesitant to forgive, still harboring anger and disappointment over his lost potential. Others, however, applaud his resilience and cheer on his recovery, hoping for a new chapter in his life and career. Kurup's passion for music remained unwavering, and he channeled his energy into creating new music and collaborating with a new generation of artists. He embraced the ever-changing hip-hop landscape and found inspiration in the next wave of talent. Kurup's reinvention was met with critical acclaim and a renewed sense of purpose. His collaborations with artists like Kendrick Lamar and Freddie Gibbs showcased his versatility and ability to adapt to the changing times. Kurup's redemption in the hip-hop landscape was not just about his music, but also his personal growth. He confronted his demons, sought help, and focused on his well-being, which ultimately allowed him to come back stronger than ever, but alas, it was too late. Corrupt's early success with Thought Dog Pound. Corrupt's journey to stardom began long before he stepped foot into the world of hip hop. Born Ricardo Emmanuel Brown on November 23, 1972, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, he was exposed to music at an early age. Growing up in a household filled with soulful melodies and rhythmic beats, Corrupt developed a deep appreciation for the art form. However, it wasn't until his family relocated to Los Angeles in the late 1980s that Corrupt's passion for music truly ignited. LA's vibrant and diverse hip hop scene provided the perfect backdrop for him to explore his talents and connect with like-minded individuals who shared his love for rap. Kurup's raw talent and undeniable charisma caught the attention of the hip-hop community, and it wasn't long before he made his way to the West Coast. In 1992, Kurup joined forces with fellow rapper Daz Dillinger to form the iconic rap duo known as Thaw Dog Pound. Their partnership would be pivotal in Kurup's career, setting the stage for his rise to fame. Kurup's path crossed with a young Snoop Dogg in Hawthorne, California. Together, they would make waves in the industry and leave an indelible mark on the West Coast hip-hop scene. Kurup's lyrical prowess and unique flow quickly set him apart from the crowd. His collaborations with artists like Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg showcased his versatility and solidified his status as a top-tier artist. Songs like Ain't No Fun and Let's Play House became instant classics, earning Corrupt a dedicated fan base and critical acclaim. With the release of his solo albums Corruption and The Streets Is A Mutha, this highly anticipated project showcased Corrupt's raw talent and lyrical prowess, solidifying his status as a force to be reckoned with. The album featured an impressive lineup of collaborations, including appearances from fellow rap heavyweights like Dr. Dre, Nate Dogg, and Zibit. Corruption was a critical and commercial success, peaking at number eight on the Billboard 200 chart and receiving widespread acclaim from fans and critics. The album's lead single, We Can Freak It, became an instant hit, dominating the airwaves and solidifying Corrupt's solo presence in the music industry. Corrupt proved that he was not just a member of a group, but a force 
deserves to be reckoned with in his own right. His unique storytelling ability and captivating delivery captivated audiences and solidified his place in hip-hop history. One of the notable aspects of Kruop's career is his extensive list of collaborations with some of the biggest names in the industry. His work with Dr. Dre on the iconic album, The Chronic Woo, showcased his ability to deliver powerful verses alongside rap legends like Snoop Dogg and Nate Dogg. The chemistry between Corrupt and these artists was undeniable, and their collaborations became instant classics that resonate with fans today. Corrupt's rise to fame was not without its challenges. He faced criticism, rivalries, and the constant pressure to deliver hit after hit. But through it all, he remained true to his craft and continued pushing the boundaries of his artistry. As Corrupt's star continued to rise, so did the controversies and media-driven narratives surrounding his career. In the hip-hop world, rivalries and feuds were not uncommon, but the East Coast-West Coast War of the 90s took things to a whole new level. The media played a significant role in fueling the tensions between East Coast and West Coast rappers, and Corrupt was caught in the crossfire. The media painted a picture of a war between the coasts, pitting artists against each other, and creating a false narrative of animosity. Despite Corrupt's attempts to distance himself from the media-driven narratives, he was entangled in controversies and rivalries. Diss tracks and verbal sparring became the norm, with artists using their music as a platform to assert their dominance and prove their superiority. Corrupt's unique style, lyrical prowess, and undeniable talent have solidified his place as one of the greatest rappers of all time. His contributions to the genre cannot be overstated, and his influence can be seen in the work of countless artists who have followed in his footsteps. His flow and delivery were unlike anything we had ever heard before. He pushed the boundaries of what was possible in hip-hop and inspired a whole generation of artists. His storytelling ability and raw lyricism captivated audiences and left a lasting impact. Kurup's music had a way of resonating with people on a deep level. Kurup's influence extends beyond his music. He has been a mentor and inspiration to aspiring artists, and his contributions to the culture of hip-hop are immeasurable. And indeed, Corrupt's music continues to resonate with fans old and new. His legacy as a talented rapper, influential artist, and resilient individual will forever be etched in the annals of hip-hop history. The album, released in 1995, was a commercial and critical success, reaching platinum status and becoming a defining moment in West Coast hip-hop. Tracks like New York, New York and Let's Play House showcased Corrupt's lyrical dexterity and his ability to paint vivid pictures with his words. Smoke Odyssey showcased his versatility as an artist and his ability to navigate different styles and sounds. Tracks like We Can Freak It and Sea Walk became anthems for West Coast rap enthusiasts and further cemented Corrupt's place in the pantheon of hip-hop greats. In 1995, Thod Dog Pound released their highly anticipated debut album, Dog Food. The album was met with critical acclaim, captivating listeners with its raw energy and unapologetic lyrics. Corrupt's rapid flow and gritty delivery showcased his undeniable talent, earning him a reputation as one of the most skilled rappers of his generation. Dog Food became an instant classic, resonating with fans and solidifying Thaw Dog Pound's status as a force to be reckoned with in the rap game. With their unique blend of West Coast gangster rap, Thaw Dog Pound carved out their niche in the music industry. Corrupt's early success with Thaw Dog Pound showcased his talent and opened doors for future opportunities. The rap world took notice of his undeniable skills, and he quickly became a sought-after collaborator, lending his distinctive voice to various projects. During this period, Corrupt was unstoppable, and it seemed there was no limit to his potential. His contributions to Thaw Dog Pound's success solidified his place in rap history, and fans eagerly awaited what he would do next. Corrupt's talent as a lyricist was evident in every verse he delivered. His clever wordplay, sharp delivery, and lyrics that explored the harsh realities of his upbringing and the allure of the streets set him apart from his peers. This authenticity and vulnerability further endeared him to fans as they saw a glimpse of the man behind the music. Corrupt's lyrical prowess was on full display as he engaged in high-profile feuds with artists like Ice Cube and MC8. Tracks like Calling Out Names and Ask Yourself a Question showcased his ability to deliver scathing and hard-hitting rhymes, but as the feuds played out in the media, the true essence of hip-hop, the art of battling through music, seemed to fade away. Snarky remarks and social media posts replaced the intense competitiveness and aggression that once defined the genre. As the media-driven narratives and controversies continued to swirl around Kuru, he remained focused on his music and his craft. But the constant scrutiny and the pressure to live up to the expectations took its toll. His struggles became more apparent, and it began to impact his career. The once unstoppable force in the hip-hop world started to lose his footing, and his music began to reflect the turmoil he was experiencing.
solo career peak with a threat to national security. In the late 1990s, Kurup boldly decided to leave Death Row Records and embark on a solo career. This move marked a significant turning point in his musical journey as he sought to establish his identity outside Thaw Dog Pound. Kurup wasted no time finding a new home for his solo endeavors, signing with Entre Records. This new chapter allowed him the creative freedom to explore his artistry and showcase his unique style to a broader audience. With Entre Records backing him, Corrupt released two solo albums that showcased his growth as an artist. These albums served as a testament to his versatility and ability to hold his own as a solo act. However, his 2001 release, A Threat to National Security, would prove to be the pinnacle of Corrupt's solo career. The album made waves in the industry, capturing the attention of fans and critics alike. A Threat to National Security debuted at an impressive hash 18 on the Billboard 200 chart, solidifying Corrupt's status as a solo artist to be reckoned with. Corrupt's solo career peak with a threat to national security was a testament to his growth as an artist and his ability to connect with audiences on a deeper level. The album's success showcased his talent and solidified his place in the rap industry. During this period, Corrupt's star continued to rise, and he became a sought-after collaborator for various artists. His unique style and undeniable talent made him a valuable asset in the music industry, and his contributions to other projects further solidified his reputation. The success of A Threat to National Security propelled Corrupt into the spotlight again, and it seemed he was destined for even greater heights. Fans eagerly awaited his next move, curious to see how he would continue to evolve as an artist. In 2010s, Corrupt yearned to recapture the magic of his earlier years. He attempted to reunite with Thaw Dog Pound, hoping to reignite the chemistry that had once made him a star. However, despite their best efforts, the reunion fell short of expectations. Corrupt also made cameo appearances on Snoop Dogg's albums, hoping to tap into the nostalgia of their previous collaborations. However, fans couldn't help but notice that the old chemistry seemed to be missing. A sense of indifference now overshadowed the magic that had once made their collaborations legendary. In 2013, Corrupt released his solo album, 100 Miles and Running, but unfortunately, it failed to impact the charts. The album struggled to find an audience, and Corrupt's attempts to regain his solo success fell flat. It seemed that the rap world had moved on, leaving Corrupt behind. As his music career continued to wane, Corrupt became known more for his viral antics than his music. He would often take to social media, posting bizarre rants and engaging in controversial behavior while under the influence. These actions only served to distance him from his once loyal fan base further. Corrupt's appearances on reality shows like Marriage Boot Camp further shifted the focus away from his music. While these shows provided a platform for him to stay in the public eye, they did little to revive his music career. Instead, Corrupt became a tabloid fixture, known more for his drama than his musical talent. Smoke Odyssey was released in 2001. This album showcased Corrupt's versatility as an artist, blending West Coast gangster rap elements with a more melodic and experimental sound. The album featured collaborations with artists like Nate Dogg, DJ Quick, and Fred Durst of Limp Bizkit, further expanding Karup's musical horizons. But it wasn't just his solo albums that propelled Karup's career forward. He also made notable contributions to the world of film and television. In 2001, Karup appeared in the critically acclaimed crime drama film Training Day, starring Denzel Washington and Ethan Hawke. His portrayal of a gang member showcased his acting abilities and further solidified his presence in popular culture. As the early 2000s progressed, Corrupt's solo career continued to flourish. He released several more albums, including Against the Grain in 2005 and Streetlights in 2010, showcasing his growth as an artist and ability to adapt to the ever-changing musical landscape. While Corrupt's solo career was gaining momentum in the early 2000s, it was a controversial collaboration that shocked the music industry and left fans intrigued. In 2002, Corrupt joined forces with the legendary rapper and producer Eminem for a collaboration that would go down in history. The collaboration came to fruition with releasing The Girls track, featured on Corrupt's album Streetlight. The song, which also included the talents of fellow rapper and producer DJ Quick, caused a stir due to its explicit and provocative lyrics. The controversial nature of the song sparked debates about misogyny and the portrayal of women in hip-hop. Despite the controversy surrounding Girls, the collaboration between Corrupt and Eminem showcased their undeniable lyrical chemistry. The track became a hit, receiving significant airplay and solidifying Corrupt's status as a boundary-pushing artist, but the collaboration didn't end there. Corrupt and Eminem continued to work together, with Corrupt making appearances on Eminem's albums, including the critically acclaimed The Eminem Show in 2002. Their collaborations demonstrated the mutual respect and admiration between the two artists as they pushed the boundaries of hip-hop and challenged societal norms. Corrupt admitted that Eminem was always good to him and helped him out of a bad situation once. You know, I was going through something at one time and 
him lent me a helping hand, you know what I'm saying? And helped me to get out of a bad situation I was in before. He didn't have to do that, cuz, you know what I mean? And he did that, he did that for me, you know what I'm saying? In addition to his work with Eminem, Corrupt made waves with his involvement in the West Coast supergroup, the HRSMN, consisting of Corrupt, Cannabis, Raskas, and Killer Priest. The HRS men brought together some of the most talented lyricists in the industry. Their collaboration resulted in the release of the highly anticipated album, The Horseman Project, in 2003, which showcased their unparalleled skills and cemented their status as a formidable force in hip hop. As Corrupt's solo career continued to flourish, he also made significant contributions to the world of mixtapes. His mixtape releases, such as Digital Smoke and Money Bitches Power, further solidified his reputation as a prolific and versatile artist. As Kurup's solo career soared to new heights in the early 2000s, he faced a series of legal battles and personal struggles that threatened to overshadow his musical achievements. These challenges tested his resilience and showcased his ability to overcome adversity. One of Kurup's most significant legal battles during this period was a highly publicized lawsuit with Death Row records. Corrupt had been a prominent member of the label during his time with Thaw Dog Pound, but tensions arose when he decided to pursue his solo career. The legal dispute centered around contract disputes and unpaid royalties, resulting in a lengthy court battle that took a toll on Corrupt professionally and personally. Despite the legal turmoil, Corrupt remained determined to forge ahead with his solo endeavors. He released his third solo album, Against the Grain, in 2005, which showcased his resilience and determination to overcome the obstacles in his path. The album received critical acclaim and featured collaborations with artists like Snoop Dogg and Daz Dillinger. Beyond his solo work, Corrupt's influence extended to the next generation of artists, his contributions to the West Coast rap scene, and his collaborations with iconic figures like Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg inspired a new wave of talent. Many up-and-coming artists looked to Corrupt as a mentor and sought his guidance in navigating the complexities of the music industry. Corrupt's impact was not limited to the studio. He also ventured into the world of entrepreneurship, launching his own record label, Pentagon records in 2007. This move allowed Corrupt to further his career and provide a platform for emerging artists to showcase their talent. In addition to his musical endeavors, Corrupt continued to make appearances in film and television. His charismatic presence and undeniable talent translated seamlessly onto the screen, earning him roles in projects like Half Past Dead Two Inches and Hood of Horror. These ventures further solidified Corrupt's status as a multi-talented artist with diverse skills. Corrupt's journey from rap star to tragedy serves as a cautionary tale for artists in the music Music industry. Despite his early success as a founding member of Thay Dog Pound and his influential contributions to West Coast rap, Corrupt's substance abuse and reluctance to evolve ultimately led to his downfall. His addiction to alcohol and marijuana, coupled with poor decisions, derailed his career and alienated his fans. Corrupt's inability to stay sober and his decline in music quality marked a stark contrast to his earlier achievements. Corrupt's tragic fate highlights the importance of addressing personal struggles and adapting to the ever-changing music industry. It serves as a reminder that talent alone is not enough to sustain a successful career. Artists must be willing to evolve, stay true to their artistry, and address any personal demons that may hinder their path to success. Click on the next video to learn about talented rappers who ruined their careers.